this is a virtual specimen of the lung and what we're looking at here is the cut surface and as we rotate it we are able to see the pleural surface this is the opposite cut surface and again here the pleural surface which is quite a uh, nodular now going back to the main surface what we can appreciate is that there are multiple masses which are irregular fairly well demarcated that are dotted throughout the lung parenchyma and if we zoom in we can actually see that there is normal lung parenchyma in between the masses. So here we can see normal lung parenchyma and over here. And here is one of the masses. Here is another one of the masses and yet another one here. Now as we move around, let's focus on one particular mass. So we can see here that there is a very irregular, fleshy appearing mass here. But in the more central regions, there are these geographic, almost yellowish, pale areas. These represent areas of necrosis. So we learned that if a tumour is growing rapidly, usually it will outstrip its own blood supply, and this results in tumour necrosis. So this is an example of what an aggressive or rapidly growing tumour looks like. Putting everything together, the most likely diagnosis here is that of metastatic carcinoma to the lung, and possible primary sites would include uh, the gastrointestinal tract, um, the breast in women, for example. So the diagnosis here is metastases to the lung. In contrast, a primary tumour would show a picture more of a single mass, though not always so. A quick side-by-side -side comparison, here we have a primary lung carcinoma where you can see that there is actually one um, main mass which is irregularly infiltrating into the lung parenchyma and there are no other masses within the lung parenchyma. So occasionally primary tumours can give you small tumour nodules close to the main mass but they usually do not present um, as multiple nodules that are scattered throughout the parenchyma like this.